Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to use XML input that is how we can import data into our table using XML input. Before we proceed, I'd like to tell you that this is my GitHub page where I'll be uploading all the source codes whichever I'm discussing in the video. So you can find it here. And this is my blog. Here I'll be uploading the detailed instructions on how to uh, do anything like uh, how to do the reports, how to create a report builders, uh, tables and everything. I'll be updating this twice or thrice a month. So you can watch this if you click on any any one blog you will get this page if you wanted to send me an email so you can use this contact form to send the email please follow my blog if you uh, really liked it and this is my uh, playlist okay so this is the youtube playlist where i am play uploading all the microsoft dynamics 365 business central related um, videos here so you can see so every week every week twice or thrice a week i'll be uploading i'll be updating this playlist so keep watching if you haven't subscribed it subscribe it give a like if you really like this video and share it with your friends so that everyone will be get benefited if you want more if you want to thank me so you can use this option super thanks so i have already written the code in order to reduce the time uh, so i'll be just explaining the code what i have did and i'll be showing you the demo of how uh, you can use this xml input so i i need a uh, two file okay one is your xml uh, port file which is to write the code for importing data and the second one is i need the page extension okay because i have to create an action that is i have to extend an action or if you are writing this xml port for your new table that is your own table you are going to create a table you are going to create a, a page and in that page you want this xml code then you don't want this page extension you can directly write it in the page action so since i'm going to uh, extend the item list uh, table sorry item list page and in that i'm going to import okay i'm going to add an action to uh, use xml import so that is what i'm going to do it here so let us see how we are going to do it so first one is i have created a um, uh, i have created a, a simple code that is an xml port code okay so xml once if you type t xml you can get this snippet okay xml port where xml port is also x uh, and another object so here you have to create an object here object id and object name so whatever the name and id you wanted to give you can give it and these are all the common properties of all the xml okay xml port whenever you are just trying to create it you have to write it so the first one is the format property so format property means it sets the format of the source expression of various data type for example you can make it format as xml okay if you are going to import the data as xml file itself then you can do it or else if you are going to use a variable text okay that is it allows the variable text files variable text files it might be a comma separator and it may have a tab separator so anything okay so variable text which allows you to work with the variable text files you can also tell fixed text okay so three properties are there where it will allow to work with the fixed text field so here you can just if you uh, go and delete this okay i'm just deleting this and if you press control and space you can see three options one is fixed variable and xml so i have used a fixed here okay so next is the direction uh, so what is the direction whether you are going to import it or you're going to export it or you're going to do the both the thing so since we are going to import the data so i'm just going to use it here import yes the third property is was text encoding so what is the test encoding which means that it specifies the test en encoding format which you're going to use when you use xml port to either export or to import data so this utf it has its own expansion utf means unicode text format okay and eight is what the version so we have various uh, properties here one is like ms dos if you're going to use the ms dos version you can write it utf unicode uh, uh, text format 16 and this is also an encoding format or else you can also use windows so we have these four types of 
um, text encoding formats okay so you can just simply type this uh, delete this and see what all the other options available ms dos utf okay um, utf8 and windows if you are not specifying this text encoding then by default it will consider it as an ms dos so you can specify utf based on your data and based on your language so you can specify this okay so uh, uh, this the text encoding format is only available when the prop uh, when your property format if you are using this property format as fixed text or a variable text okay if you are using xml format then this is not applicable got it and the next one is what user request page so i hope uh, this usually will be having so, so the user request page property so this is by default i have given false because it sets whether a request page is presented to the user i haven't presented any request page here okay so here this use usually this use request page is uh, is available in xml port and report object okay so uh, if you wanted to show up some use request page that is requesting page some pop up like if you wanted to do that then you can just go ahead with false here i don't want to show up anything like that so i given false and table separator so what is the table separator table separator basically uh, tell you that how the table is separated that is uh, what is the uh, value for the next line okay so if there is some space then it it means that it is a next line okay it has to go and check for the next line okay new line you can think about that so how the table is separated okay if you just give a single quotes and so even this particular property okay this property is also available this property we have to set if our if we have made this format as we fix a text or variable text this is not possible this is not applicable for xml okay so here uh, we'll be using this because uh, this is what my data so i am going to import this data into uh, bc okay so here my new line is uh, having a space so once if it finds the space it will consider to be a new line so whenever you create any uh, data so if it is a comma separated so make sure that there is no space between every entry so this is one data first record second data third record fourth uh, sorry this is means that this is a uh, record for the first field second third fourth and you have to use a comma there is no space between that and finally if you just give enter it is considered to be the next record okay so be sure that you are uh, uh, creating your data like this so our basic properties are done so next is what the schema i have to tell the schema so these are all uh, i and uh, since i am going to extend the already existing that is a base object so i have to tell what is the table uh, item element item okay this is my table name okay this is my table name if you just uh, hover over you can see that this is a table name okay item this is actually my name that is a user defined name and this is a table name you can even change this name however you want and this is xml name if you want to keep the xml name then you can write it and then the uh, other thing like what are all the column that is the data for which column you wanted to import though in item you can find various columns so i wanted to import for item number so this is actually the exact name that is number is what the exact field name in the item table okay item dot number item is a table name number is a field name that is a column name where i'm just trying to locate it inside my user defined name no okay likewise item dot description description so type so i'm just uh, there are various entries in that item specifically but i'm just using few item here okay few data here and once all these things are uh, um, defined you can just close this xml port there is no much um much um work in the xml port object okay i hope it is clear whatever the data which you wanted to import it by yourself you can write that you can give that fine and you can see that those data i have given here so the next one is what we are going to see the page extension because since you have to write an action okay xml port is created but when this xml port will be executed only if you call it only some trigger has happened only some action happened it will be 
it will be invoked right so for that we have to write the extension and this particular um, uh, xml port that is importing xml port should appear in my item list page okay yeah, be clear i am not adding any new field into the xml port okay if you wanted to add a new field into item list then you have to extend the table and then you have to add the um, new item into it that is a new field column into it and then you have to extend the page you have to give the uh, actions like this and then through import you can import the data i hope you all are understanding what i'm trying to tell you okay so here i am extending the item list okay and i'm naming the uh, name of that so here you can see this is item list is user defined name so you have to define and this is the exact uh, page name of the page and this is the id okay and where you have to this is the basic action for every extension don't uh, search for add after or add before or add last add first function in any of the simple pages okay this is available only in the page extension okay add after after what you have to add after the history and action what is the action name this is user defined okay user defined and the caption these are all the basic thing okay caption image if you wanted i have um, talked many thing about image promoted promoted category and everything and this is what the exact important part where you should all uh, listen to it so on action if you click on that particular action what it should have what it should do it should run the xml put okay so in code unit if you wanted to run the code in it then you have to write code in it dot run if you wanted to run the XML port, then you have to write XML port dot run, and you have to tell what is the ID of that XML port. This is the ID of the XML port. Okay, so this is the ID of the XML port. You can go and check it here. What is the ID? If you click here, you can see five zero one zero one. Okay, so after that, you can see that you have various options in uh, in run. That is in run procedure you have the basic one is number you have to pass the number okay other than that whatever is given inside the bracket that is a square bracket that are considered to be optional okay it is not mandatory that you have to give it even if you leave it will accept okay so uh, since we don't have any request page okay request window colon boolean boolean means you have to give either true or false so in a uh, request window colon boolean so i don't have any request window so i am giving here false so here it is telling you what are all the arguments you wanted to pass for sure you have to pass the number argument that is what is the id next is request window i don't want any request window so false import if you wanted to import something yes i wanted to import so i'm making it as true even that is if you don't want to import then you can make it as false okay and if you wanted to pass any other variable like record or table you can pass it so whatever whatever the parameter which is uh, indicated inside the square brackets are optional and you have to write this for sure okay so this is my simple page extension this is only to invoke the xml port be clear so once you save and execute this item list okay once you execute it you can find this uh, page if you go and uh, click on the process you can see import item here so once if you click import item it will ask you it will show a pop-up so click choose so click open my three records gs001 gs002 and gs003 has been added okay so this is what so once if you click whatever the data you have imported okay you can find the data over there okay so uh, this is how you can import the data from the table through xml import if you wanted to see what these are all the basic details whichever i gave whatever the details i gave that will be updated here okay this is the unit cost okay so based on that it is just getting the data and if you wanted to import a picture so that is also possible so everything is possible with the xml import so please uh, be very clear if you have this is a built-in so this is a base object 
this is a base object that is item list so i just wanted to add a, a data directly to the item list and i don't wanted to add any other extra field so you may have one uh, two scenario one scenario is you have your own table okay uh, table and page and in that case you can just extend that page here and then do it okay you can write uh, you don't know to even extend that page you can simply write the action f there okay in the action you can just call the xml that's it okay and if you wanted to extend some other uh, uh, base object and then do it then you have to do it like this if that is if you don't want to touch any other column you just wanted to add the data then you have to do like this if you wanted to add the column and then add some data like uh, if you want to import uh, those data into it then you have to extend the table and add the column into it and you have to extend the page to create an action uh, and before all these things you have to create an xml import object got it so this is what the complete uh, information about the xml import so already i have discussed about xml export in the uh, very uh, previous <laughs> video it's not a reason it's before uh, three or four months you can just go and check that so this is for xml import so hope this is uh, uh, this is like importing the data from our local drive to bc business central okay so i hope you understand the logic if you have any doubts in this so please post it i'll be um, uh, i'll be creating the uh, i'll be creating the video for all the requested topic it may take some time because even i'm working so i have to find some time to record and uh, show up with a simple example okay so that is why it is just taking late so please um uh, be with me wait with me so so that you can i can easily post it okay thank you take care bye bye